So I wanted to see what the difference is between the um, in-game HDR that you get with Cyberpunk 2077 after patch 1.5 versus the auto HDR feature that you get with Windows 11. Now prior to patch 1.5, the auto HDR actually worked very well for me. I was using it for quite a while and it was much better than the in-game HDR. The in-game one was completely broken. Uh, if you tried to enable it, your black levels would be raised to a point where it just looks like the image is completely washed out. So just for reference, this display has a peak brightness of approximately 1100 nits. And as you can see, uh, Auto HDR is currently enabled. So in order for Auto HDR to work, you have to make sure the in-game HDR is disabled. So let's go ahead and launch the game. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a series of screenshots to see what the difference is between auto HDR and the in-game HDR now that uh, the game has been patched. So let's see here how it turns out. Okay, so if we go to settings, video, we can see HDR is currently disabled in game. So currently the game is using the auto HDR feature provided by Windows 11. So I'll load this scene here. Okay, as you can see, there's a couple of elements that are fairly bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take a screenshot so that's with auto HDR. Now let's go ahead and turn on the in-game HDR. So the tone mapping midpoint, I set this to 1.5. Uh, the black levels look pretty nice at 1.5 for my display. Paper white, I set this to the minimum because it just lowers the brightness of the UI elements. And so it doesn't feel like they're too bright in like dark scenes. And then for maximum peak brightness, this is where it gets a little weird. So if I were to set this to 1100 nits, um, some of the peak brightness in scenes goes way past 1100. So I actually have to lower this to 950. But for example, if I set it to 1000, and let's go back into the game. So the same scene, I'll take a screenshot here. Okay, and then let's change this to 950. And do one more screenshot. Okay, so now let's quit back to the desktop. So I took three screenshots. The first one, so the image viewer that I use is HDR plus WCG image viewer. You can grab it from the Windows store. So this is using the auto HDR feature. So as you can see, the estimated max CLL, which I'm assuming is the, like the brightest part of the scene here, which are these, uh, these two bars here and this bar down here. Uh, if you look at the uh, luminance heat map, yep, it's like red. So those are the brightest parts of the scene. Now it looks like the max CLL in this scene was 1026 nits. So this is with the Windows 11 Auto HDR. Now this was the in-game HDR. So this is Auto HDR disabled in-game HDR. I think peak brightness was set to a thousand nits here. So over here we can see that the estimated max CLL is actually 1250 nits. This is well past my display 
um, specs. So I set this to a thousand nits, but it's it looks like the scene reached 1250. So that's why I actually lower it a little bit to like 950. So now if I were to open the last screenshot that I took, see this one is like more in line. Estimated max CLL, 1190 nits. It's a little bit above my peak luminance, but I think that's fine. Like you're not missing out that much detail. Um, it's close enough. But the main thing I noticed between um, the in-game HDR and the auto HDR is that the black levels in the in-game HDR are actually much better than the uh, auto HDR. So this is the auto HDR scene here. Let me see if I can show it. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture this. Let's maximize that. Okay, so this is the in-game HDR. And this is the Windows Auto HDR. In-game, Windows Auto. So if you notice, it's like, in the Windows one, it's a little bit green. There's like a greenish hue to things. And then if I go back to the in-game one, the blacks are like much richer. I don't know if this will get picked up on the camera, but the blacks look way better. Like there's less of a green tint when using the in-game HDR. So yeah, in my opinion, I think the in-game HDR is fixed uh, if you just play around with the peak brightness. Um, just set it slightly lower to whatever your display actually is and you should be fine. Uh, this looks really good, like way better than it ever has so i do think yes hdr is fixed for the most part so yeah that's pretty much it